print at a thrift store for three and sold it for 275. I probably would have walked right past that. What a great bolo. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about unexpected and big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a big profit or a really nice profit. So here is the post that I shared in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. If you're not in the group, definitely go check it out. It is under my link tree down below. Over 100,000 members, resellers selling resellers sharing reseller knowledge. That's what I wanted to say. If you want to share an April Bolo, it is pinned in the announcements slash featured section. And I'll shout out your social media or your eBay store, the platforms you sell on. Just put it in the comment so that I know to share and share a Bolo. And it'll be shared in a video just like this. So let's start with the first one here. This one is a lovey, and you guys have heard me talk about lovey blankets a lot on this channel. They are definitely a bolo. Some of them go for over $100. Some of them are more bread and butter, but it's definitely something to keep your eye out for because a lot of times you can pick them up for a buck or less. Now, if you want to know more about the big money loveys, go over to the YouTube and type into the search bar, Bolo Buddies Lovey, and it will pull up a video all about loveys. Uh, the Rebel Reseller also has a video on loveys, so check her out. She specializes in plush. That is the Rebel Reseller, and she's fantastic. So this says, bought this at Savers for two, sold for $27 plus shipping in a few weeks. It's a baby gunned, spunky gray, puppy dog, huggy, bu huggy buddy, lovey <laughs> security blanket say that three times fast i'm not gonna do that all right here we go rare mckenzie child's pottery buttercup salt and pepper egg shape shaker set bought these at an estate sale on the third day of the sale half off so paid a dollar 50 took eight months to sell sold for 99 dollars do you pick up salt and pepper shakers let me know down in the comments the next one is this Grateful Dead Dave's Picks Volume 28. It is a CD. Sold this weekend, making it officially a March Bolo. I would have never guessed that a Grateful Dead CD actually had great value. I know their t-shirts and vinyl can be worth good money. This was found in a storage unit I bought at the end of March, and it is the first thing I sold from the unit. Paid $60 for the entire unit because all I could see were seven 55 gallon Husky totes that I know were worth a combined of 120 to buy brand new at Home Depot. So basically got the totes half off by buying the storage unit. Yes, totes are expensive. Uh, anything inside the unit that was good for resale was just gravy. I'm sure I will be posting a few other bolos at one, as every one of the tote was packed with amazing merchandise. Woohoo! That's fantastic. Congratulations. This sold for $49.99. Um, I did share this in the plush video, so you may have already seen this one, but I uh, wanted to share again. Star Wars Scruffy's Plush Celebration V2010 Exclusive Discontinued Rare Lot of Five. Um, says someone in Discord group sold theirs for like 400 and the day they sold the ones they had, I looked and saw someone selling a lot of five of the plush for $90 from Spain, bought them immediately and paid 120 all in to get them shipped to the States. And you can hear the whole story as to why these are worth big money on the plush what sold video. I'm not going to go into that again, just in case you already saw it. Took three months to sell and accepted an offer of 450 on those. All right, here is the next one. Uh, Rare uh, Sesame Street Tune In TV Elmo Talking Electronic Mattel Fisher Price Toy. Wow. Paid $3.49 and sold in a week for $150. Would you have guessed it? Let me know down in the comments. Do you sell Sesame Street? It is in the original packaging, which I'm sure increased the value. This one says paid six at the Goodwill, sold same day for $150. It is a vintage Joseph original sample, woman holding a rose, Japan marked JY-7 slash A. And it is a rare, hard to find item. And I don't know how you know if it's a sample. So um, if you have sold uh, sample products, how do you know they're a sample? Is there a way to research? 
Uh, let me know down in the comments, or this is from Berkshire Pickers. If you're watching, let me know how you uh, knew this was a sample, because I would be very, very curious about that. All right, this one is also from Berkshire Pickers. Lydia Garcia Taos, or Taos. Uh, it's a Madonna and Child 2006 and signed. She said, paid 82 on an online auction sold on eBay overnight for 475. So this is an example of paying up, but knowing that your product has value and it's sold fast. So look how, look, it's not very big. Oh, hold on. Let me shrink that down a little bit. Six inches guys, six by nine. It's right here. All right. The next one, I just love this. Um, it is a Ziploc zip and steam cooking microwave bags. Yes, I said microwave bags. Um, she said cleaning out cupboard and found this new old stock Ziploc steams bags, medium size package listed it. And two hours later, it sold for full asking price paid 402 plus shipping. I wasn't sure how well it would do because there were many already for sale, but I think it sold quicker than others with the free shipping. Not a huge bolo, but better than nothing. That's great. $19.99 for some steam bags. <laughs> wow. Bob Van Allen Scudda Mid-Century Modern Canvas Art One Hippopotamus. There it is, guys. Found its print at a thrift store for three and sold it for $275. I probably would have walked right past that. What a great bolo. Tom, um, I'm sorry, Pack 10. Rydell Revolution Pocket Size Conference Helmet Size Arizona, Oregon. Wowza. Took a chance on something I knew nothing about and it certainly paid off. Pay bought this for five and sold. I'm sorry. Bought this for five with the hope of making at least 50 on it. Sold it on auction for $255. 30 bids, guys. This is a candle. And if you don't know, some candles are mega bolos. Um, I have a video on bolo candles. Type bolo buddies candle into the search bar and you will see um, some candles that will knock your socks off. She paid, P uh, this is piece of scrap on YouTube and uh, Poshmark and eBay. Paid $3, sold on promotion for $37, shipped on eBay. Not clothes, she said, because I always say she's got another clothing item because she sells a lot of clothes and shoes. So you'll definitely learn a lot from her, but this is a candle. 3167 plus shipping. That's so funny. Uh, Fel Feldstein's historic coal mining and railroads of, I don't know, some county, Maryland, signed. Picked up this 38 page books on local mining and railroads for 25 cents at a last day estate sale. I listed and within a day or so, it sold in less than two hours for $59.47, full price. Uh, eBay store, Periwinkle and Paisley. Periwinkle 60. Wowza, that is awesome. Check it out. And it's signed. Large African ostrich egg, hand-painted draft bushman on carved wood stand. Purchased this large ostrich egg at an estate sale this past summer. Paid $6. It has been listed for a while, but finally sold for $79.97, full asking price. Periwinkle and Paisley. Uh, can't thank you enough, Courtney, for all that you do. I'm learning about whatnot now and hopes to start that later this year. Awesome. And I don't know if she's Periwinkle 60 or Periwinkle and Paisley on whatnot. If you guys are not on whatnot, I do have a referral link down below where you can get $15 to shop if you join with that. If you want to be a seller on whatnot, I also have a referral link for that. Oh, look at that. Is that the full retail? Wowza. Um, if you want to sell on whatnot, I also have a referral link for that, which will let them know that Bolo Buddies referred you. And I have tutorials where I teach about how to sell on whatnot if you guys are interested. So check those out. Type Bolo Buddies whatnot for beginners into the search bar on YouTube and it will pull up those videos. Um, I am definitely loving whatnot, but um, working really hard to stay active and keep listing on eBay and cross posting and all of the good stuff, getting out the YouTube videos. Um, whatnot is time consuming, but it is um, quick flips, quick flips. So something to think about if you're looking to expand to other platforms. 
All right. And if you're also looking to expand to other platforms, List Perfectly is fantastic for that. If you're not cross posting, um, I start my items on eBay and cross post to the others. The catalog is fantastic. You can start your item and list perfectly and then cross post to all the platforms at the same time. They do have the Pro Plus plan that's out now. Lots and lots of updates and upgrades. Oh my goodness. And if you don't know about those updates and you're already on List Perfectly, um, I think you can use my referral link um, to get 30% off of the upgrade. Also, not 100% sure. I think it only works so many times, but Bolo Buddies, um, all one word, lowercase, 30% off your first month of List Perfectly. So check that out. Uh, so the next one here is six vintage mini something by Stokes MacArthur original velvet box with sleeve included. Had several of these, my father-in-law's estate that sat around for a while. I finally listed them and have sold several with and without the boxes within a few weeks. Still have a few without boxes to sell, but have sold about seven sets so far. This set sold for $38.50. And this also is from Periwinkle and Paisley. So you guys will hear me mention things that I use from time to time, like American Bubble Boy. Um, I have certain poly mailers that I get and um, worth point list perfectly. Of course, I already mentioned it. My referral links and affiliate links are down below in the description of the video. I appreciate it when you guys use those. It definitely helps me keep this channel going. Um, I also have links to join like Mercari and Poshmark where you get money to shop and then I get money to shop. So there's different things down there, but definitely things that I use for my business. So check them out um, before you uh, leave this video because there may be something you're missing out on. Most of them have a tutorial video that shows you how to use um, the service because honestly, like I like to share things that I use that help me with my business. So you can check those links out down below. All right. This is uh, from Leo's Treasures. It is a vintage oh, stangle pottery. Oh my goodness. Pitcher. I don't know. Lyric pattern. We're going to go with that. My, my eBay store is Leo's Treasures. I found this at a local Goodwill for $2.25, $2.25. The picture is not, I'm sorry, the picture is even stained. Let's see. Let's see if we can see it. Kind of hard to see. Looks like shadowing, but maybe it is. Uh, stained but has no chips. I stated all the issues in my listing. Description sold as is. Buyer paid $79.86 when the store was on 12% off. So damaged and uh, damaged items do sell. They definitely do. Here is another one. This is a plate. She paid $1.65 for it. And this one came from the Goodwill bins. The plate is chipped on the bottom. I stated this in the description and sold it for $30. So again, even with the defect right there, it's still sold for 30. This one here, eBay store Leo's Treasures. I purchased this Luke Ayers, Ears. I don't know how to say it. Double blue Cambridge England black red stripe wool scarf. And she sold it for 55, paid a dollar for it at a garage sale. The quality and tag told me it would sell for good money. And it sold for the asking price. So that's great. Let's see what if we can look at the tag. Yep, there you go. The next item is guess who? This looks like a thumbnail that I would put in my YouTube video, like pointing <laughs> with the funny face. Yep, that's me. Um, on It's on a guess who box. So 1988 edition. And I'm trying to figure out if this is sealed or not. But it says, bought this at my local... Um, hospice Haven Hospice Attic for a dollar ninety nine sold in about a month for full asking price of forty plus shipping. This place is my honey pot because they never price their games over a dollar ninety nine, even if they are sealed. So still not sure if that's sealed. It's hard to say. All right, you guys, check out the Facebook group. Link is down below um, in the link tree. Come share an April bolo. I would love to see what you sold 
in April for Big Money, and I will feature it in a video just like this. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and thanks for watching. Oh, and come see me on Whatnot. Bolo Buddies over there. Referral link down below. You can get $15 to shop when you join Whatnot with that, and come hang out even if you don't want to buy. I do jewelry untanglings. It's super fun, and I would love to see you. Thanks for watching.